really incredible story that we're about to tell you about right now because tonight a possible break in the case of a kidnapped child. Police are investigating after a teenager who identified himself as a missing Illinois boy told police that he just escaped from his kidnappers and ran for hours until he was found. The boy says he is Timothy Pitson. He went missing in May of 2011 when he was six and a half years old. Ryan Young joins us now with some details on this story. Ryan, good evening. Fascinating, uh, amazing evening. story. This could be a break in that case that started uh, in, in 2011. Bring us up to speed in the latest. Certainly could. Uh, tonight, this is a big mystery with few details, but lots of questions, Don. Timothy Pitson went missing in 2011, and for years, nobody knew what happened to the six-year-old. Some of the last known video of Timothy is this surveillance video of the young man walking with his mom. On May 11, 2011, Timothy's mother, Amy Fry Pitson, checked him out of the elementary school for a vacation. Three days later, his mom was found dead from suicide in a motel room in Rockford, Illinois. There was apparently a note left behind saying Timothy was safe with people who were loving and caring for him, but he would never be found. And for years, no one has seen or heard from the young man. That all changed today, Don. A potential big break in the case when a call to a Red Roof Inn near Cincinnati mm. brought cops to an area where a teen claimed to be the missing boy. Now, just think about all this. Tonight, police are looking for two men, considered white, who are maybe bodybuilding type, driving a newer model Ford SUV with Wisconsin plates. So many people are waiting. There's a DNA test that's being done. Don, lots of questions in this one. People are crossing their fingers, but still so many unanswered questions have to figure out exactly what this young man may have been oh, through. Ryan Young, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, your reporting. I want to get now to Sharon Hall. She says that she saw the teenager who identified himself as the missing Illinois boy, Timothy Pitson, uh, this morning. It was in her Newport, Kentucky neighborhood, and she joins us now on the phone. Uh, Sharon, uh, hello to you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello. Uh, thank you for, for joining us. Tell us what you saw today. Um, I seen, looking at my window, that a boy was leaning against one of my neighbor's cars that um, we've been having some... Um, times here with crime here, so I called her to tell her that, you know, hey, let's look out here, and there was um, a, a boy standing there that I thought was actually going to rob her car, so I took the picture in case he did something and, and you know, ran off. I didn't know anything. There was actually a minor who her mother does not want her to be disclosed in the he called the police. He approached her, mm -hmm. and she called the police and waited. She was on her way to school and waited for the police to come and was late to school. Mm -hmm. And I do want her story to be told, too. Yeah. He's actually the hero. So, so right on with that. Um, so you, you said uh, your neighbor's daughters were getting into a car to head off to school when you noticed the boy, right? And he told the yes. girls that he had been running for two hours, uh, Sharon, In and that he, uh, his stomach hurt. He was tired, um, that he had been tossed around, and he didn't know where he was. Yes, that is all correct. This is what she told me, yes. Mm -hmm. And then did you see police come to pick up the boy? Yes, I did. Um, at the time, of course, I didn't know anything about him. Um, I was confused. Um, I thought maybe he had been jumped in our neighborhood or something. Um, they didn't handcuff him. They did search him. And they pulled back his hoodie, and the left side of his face, I could see it looked like he might have um, slid on concrete or something. It wasn't bloody. It mm -hmm. just was um, scarred up really bad. Mm -hmm. A bruise or maybe some uh, scars or like a rug burn of some type. Or like yes. That. Right. Yes. Um, so, so listen, just uh, real quickly here. So you saw him. And I was going to ask you what condition he's in, but you, you already told me that. You, did, you've seen the picture of him before, the last one they had? Have you seen um, the, I took that. No, no, no. The yes. older picture when he was younger. Yes. Okay. Yes. Did he resemble the, the child to you? Maybe to tough. me, yeah. he resembled more of the, um, the six-year-old child than he did the um, one that they um, predicted for mm -hmm. him to be at this age. When they did but the he age still enhancement. Had the features. Yes. Right. Well, Sharon, um, nice job. Thank you for relaying what you say is the, the, the young girl 
who is a hero here, and we, we really appreciate you joining us, and we hope it's him and that this story ends well.